The Saito Scrambler is a power play weapon given to supporters of Archon Delane. Available exclusively for size 1 hard points, this burst laser performs similarly in terms of resource draw to a standard burst laser, and can therefore be used on any build that can support these lasers. Designed to enable less lethal acts of piracy, the Saito Scrambler deals tremendous damage to shield systems, with the stock variant dealing about 330% more damage than a standard size 1 burst laser system. This comes at the cost of being totally useless against the hull of target ships. The end result is a weapon that can outperform huge hardpoints on ships like the Federal Corvette when targeting shields. This remarkable ability means that small ships, especially when coordinating their attacks, are able to quickly and effectively breach the shields on large vessels in seconds. The Saito Scrambler is absolutely devastating under the right conditions, though creating these conditions can be very difficult against a competent opponent. The Saito Scrambler comes with two significant downsides. The first is range. With a max engagement of 1 kilometer and damage fall off beginning around 500 meters. This extremely limited range, compared to most laser weapons, means that standoff distances are effectively non existent, forcing attackers to get in close and stay in close for the Saito Scrambler to be effective. The second weakness is jitter. Saito Scramblers sport a 1.7 degree jitter cone, which renders accurate fire impossible much beyond the 500 meter optimal range. Larger ships can still be readily attacked, but smaller ones are able to naturally avoid damage simply by way of distance. Since no engineering blueprint exists that can reduce latent jitter, there is no effective way to increase the Scrambler's range. These weaknesses are devastating in PvP encounters, since the current meta forces very high-speed jousting turns that carry opponents in and out of optimal range long before the Saito Scrambler's burst can complete. This means that effective applied damage is very small, compared to established favorites like the Railgun and Plasma Accelerator. PvE combat offers much more opportunity for this weapon to do its work, with combat zones and hazardous resource extraction sites being two excellent applications for it. A handful of commanders have also found Saito Scramblers effective against Thargoid shields, though it remains an uncommon choice within that community due to the maneuvering and weapons dynamics around interceptors. The Saito Scrambler is intended to be synergistic, meaning that it must work alongside other weapons to be the most effective. Kinetic and Plasma weapons work the best in these situations, though I favor Kinetics more than any other choice in PvE where this weapon is concerned. Since the Saito Scrambler heavily favors close-range engagement, where the attacker has range control, it is best applied on small and medium ships with available size 1 hardpoints, making the Viper and Chieftain top-tier platforms for this weapon. Build strategy should center around leveraging the Saito Scrambler to strip shields before finishing off a target using other weapons. The best synergy I've found among kinetic weapons are the Frag Cannon and Multi Cannon. These weapons both excel in close combat, and provide ample ammunition reserves for extended engagements. The Plasma Accelerator and Railgun are also useful, though with greater overall draw on the weapon capacitor. The Shock Cannon and Shard Cannon can also pair up with the Saito Scrambler to great effect, but under more restrictive conditions. Engineering ramps up the aggressiveness of the Saito Scrambler, with the two best choices being short-ranged and overcharged. The intrinsic jitter of this hardpoint means that blueprints extending range are going to be ineffective, so the best thing to do is to go for max damage. Short-range sacrifices all DPS capability beyond 500 meters in exchange for a 75% boost to raw shield damage. Overcharge tamps the damage down slightly but preserves the 1 kilometer maximum range. 
the number of effective experimental effects for this weapon are more limited than on a standard burst laser. When leveraging short-ranged and overcharged blueprints, the oversized experimental ups DPS to around 80% over stock. Scramble Spectrum can still work, since the Cyto Scrambler does technically damage the hull, even if it's too small to be relevant in all situations. Phasing Sequence will still bleed damage through shields to attack the hull of a target when using the Cyto Scrambler, and, in fact, will deal more damage to a target through this effect than any other weapon in the game. However, the rate of this damage is insignificant in most PvE situations and useless in all PvP encounters. The problem here is that even against something like an Imperial Cutter, this damage is not enough to kill the ship through its shields meaning that it's not powerful enough to center a whole build around. The other effects range between average and irrelevant, so I can't recommend them for this weapon. With niche applications and severe hardpoint limitations, the Cyto Scrambler is an interesting and powerful, but nuanced weapon best applied for PvE situations on close combat focused builds. It's an interesting mark to chase, but not an essential power play weapon to pursue if you're just getting started. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.